Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel which is all about narcissism. This video is to describe more of the ways that a narcissistic person will use special occasions to their advantage. When it comes to special occasions, these are usually things for people to celebrate with each other, gain happiness from somebody achieving something, spending time with loved ones, sharing in each other's joy, sharing in each other's pleasure. When it comes to a narcissistic person, they're incredibly envious of other people's happiness. They want to be the reason why other people are happy. And if they can't be the reason why other people are happy, they're going to go all out to bring other people down if they're not getting the validation that they believe they are entitled to. They're very self-entitled people. So if they feel like they're losing that loss of control and that their sense of entitlement is slipping, they're going to go all out to sabotage special occasions for others. And they lack the empathy to care for how their behaviour affects those around them. They have that sense of grandiosity where everything should be about them. And they're arrogant enough to believe that they're right in the ways that they behave and that it's everyone else's fault, that everyone else made them do it. So when it comes to a special occasion, more often than not, a narcissistic person will go all out to ruin a special occasion for those around them. And they usually do it in a way where they blame those around them so that they can escape taking any form of responsibility and avoid any consequences for their behaviour as they found a scapegoat to pass the blame over to. When it comes to a special occasion, a narcissist will use a special occasion in order to love bomb somebody new. It's easy for them to pick up those gifts and send them those lavish gifts, treat somebody, spoil somebody, get somebody hooked, create those good memories that they can use against them later down the line in the hoover. So a narcissistic person will use a special occasion in order to love somebody new. They will also use a special occasion to discard somebody when they're seeking to punish somebody else. There's no better time for a narcissist to do this than when that person's got their hopes up on the things that they will be doing over this special occasion and then the occasion's ruined because the narcissist has just up and left them and often moved on to somebody new and selling, giving everything they promised to the old supply that they discarded to the new supply and making sure the narcissist flying monkeys let the new supply, the old supply know what the narcissist is doing for the new supply. Narcissistic people can use special occasions in order to gain sympathetic attention. They are very good at playing the woe is me victim and what a terrible time they had, what a terrible childhood they had. And in some cases, this can be true. However, narcissistic people are incredibly exploitative. So they're going to play the victim, bring out those vulnerabilities in order to get people to work harder, to please them, to help them. They're going to, to go all out to gain that sympathetic attention and they can use this in order to hoover somebody back into their games. A narcissistic person will use a special occasion, uh, a holiday, in order to suck people back into their games. And one way they can do this is by playing on the other person's compassion, playing on the other person's vulnerabilities so that the other person feels guilty and allows the narcissist back in, not realising that the narcissist is just manipulating the situation to their advantage. Some narcissistic people can use special occasions to gain admiration. When they're love bombing somebody new, they're getting that praise and the attention. Some narcissistic people want to throw the biggest and best party ever, and they're expecting that gratitude, that eternal gratitude the eternal praise. 
And whenever you step out of line, step out of their control, they're going to use what they did for you against you in order to get you back where they want you. Narcissistic people use special occasions to create conflict, drama and chaos. They will divide and conquer, they will triangulate, they do all they can to play people off against each other to create the drama and then they stand back and watch the show because they're looking to ruin the occasion for all those around them yet they're looking to distance themselves from any form of responsibility for what they have done. Narcissistic people use special occasions to raise people's expectations. They do this in the love bombing with the future fakes, yet as they deliver on some things in the love bombing stage, it raises people's expectations. And then the narcissist will slowly lower that person's standards. And then when it comes to another special occasion, that person has their hopes up due to what they received previously. And when the narcissist doesn't deliver, if they dare to speak to the narcissist, the narcissist will accuse them of being ungrateful for everything they've done for them. The narcissist will accuse them of wanting everything their own way, of needing that attention. So that person then lowers their standards because they fear speaking out due to being made to feel guilty and selfish and awkward and stubborn. So narcissistic people will raise your expectations to lower your standards. They use special occasions to make people feel bad, to pull other people down. So no matter what you get them, it's usually not going to be good enough for them. And whatever they get you, there's usually that twist to it where they haven't thought about you, they've thought about themselves. Yet again, if you try to speak out about this, they're going to accuse you of being greedy or of not appreciating them. If you accuse them of not appreciating you, they just turn it around onto how you don't know them at all. However, you're not allowed to say that to them. The narcissist and their double standards. Narcissistic people will use special occasions to use sentimental things against people, sentimental routines, sentimental traditions. They will do all they can to disrupt them, to create that drama, to destroy them. As people do like that sort of sense of certainty and that routine of what you do. And when you meet new people, things change over time, which as humans we do have to adapt to. Some people adapt a lot quicker than others. However, a narcissistic person, they have a pattern of behaviour. However, they aren't looking to celebrate in the joy of a special occasion. They're looking to gain control of the situation. So if they can take sentimental things out of the equation to make you feel bad, they will use those things against you to hurt you. Narcissistic people use special occasions to exclude people. Narcissistic friends can do this where they will invite everybody to a thing and exclude one person, invite everyone to an event and exclude one person. Narcissistic family members can do this. Narcissistic parents can discard one child and leave them out of the situation. Narcissistic people will use anything as an excuse to exclude people and there's no better time for a narcissist to exclude people than around a special occasion because by making that person feel bad and unwanted makes the narcissist feel better within themselves. When it comes to a narcissistic person they are all about self. The games they play are so that they can remain in control. When it comes to special occasions you have to keep a hold of your boundaries, which is very difficult around a narcissist who will go all out to try and take these from you. You have to create the routines. You have to do the things that you enjoy. You have to recognise their behaviour for what it is and no longer take it personally. No longer let them dampen your day. If anyone has any thoughts on what narcissistic people use special occasions for, please do add those into the comments.
If anyone has any hints or tips of what helped them deal with narcissistic people around special occasions, please do also add those into the comments as what works for one person may or may not work for another. So it's finding the things that work for us as an individual. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm as for sure, this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.